college student who went missing after he stumbled out of a Nashville bar two weeks ago. So Strain still had the shirt on that he was wearing, uh, so had to watch. Welcome to the mysterious case of Riley Strain. In life, tragic events have power to shake our foundations and test the strength of our spirits. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am reaching out to all of you with a heavy heart. A 22-year-old boy named Riley Strain, who went missing days ago, has unfortunately been discovered deceased. The young boy was found lifeless after succumbing to the unforgivable deaths of the Cumberland River in West Nashville. His body was spotted in the river by a worker at a nearby business. A dock worker spotted the body downriver from downtown Nashville where Riley was last seen. The search for Riley had captured the heart of millions with individuals from all walks of life banding together in hopes of finding Riley. Riley Strain was a senior at Mizzou and stood six feet, five inches tall with a slim body, blonde hair and blue eyes according to his family. Riley was last seen wearing a two-tone black and white collared shirt, blue trousers, and brown shoes. He was described as a kind-hearted, outgoing, and full-of-life individual. At the time of his disappearance, some speculated that Riley may have orchestrated his disappearance to escape his troubles. Others had speculated that foul play may have been involved pointing to potential enemies or individuals with a motive to harm Riley. Some cameras captured the soon-to-be graduate making his way downtown, heading toward the Metro Courthouse. His family explained that there were gaps and cameras pointed in the wrong direction, which made it hard to know exactly where to look for strain. The heart-wrenching pleas of his family, the unwavering dedication of law enforcement, and the outpouring of support from strangers near and far all painted a portrait of a community united in the face of adversity. As the hours turned into days, hope began to dwindle, but the search efforts never ceased. Despite the challenges faced by the rescue teams, they continued to work tirelessly, refusing to give up on the young boy. Here's a look at the timeline of events following Strain's disappearance. March 8th of 2024, 9.35 p.m., Strain was escorted out of the bar. The TC Restaurant Group, which owns and manages the bar, issued a statement saying its security team made a decision based on our conduct standards to escort him from the venue through our Broadway exit at the front of the building. Strain was asked to leave after being offered only one alcoholic drink and two glasses of water. He was followed down the steps by one of his companions according to the bar management. However, his friend reportedly did not leave and returned upstairs. Strain's stepfather, Chris Whited, stated that one of Strain's friends attempted to accompany him out of the pub but the security crew refused to allow him go. 9.46 p.m., Riley was recorded on surveillance camera tripping and falling in the parking lot at the 3rd Avenue and Church Street beside the downtown smoke and vape shop. 9.47 p.m., Strain was spotted on surveillance camera crossing 1st Avenue North to Gay Street. According to authorities, no video of him has been spotted since that time. 10.15 p.m., rings Strain's phone. It shows that his location is opposite of the hotel near James Robertson Parkway and Gay Street. Detectives believe Strain's final phone chat with one of his friends occurred around this time. March 9th. 2024, Strain's friend contacted 911 after reporting that he had gone to Central Police Precinct and called the Sheriff's Office to submit a missing persons report. Strain's family drove from Springfield, Missouri to Nashville shortly after they heard from his fraternity mates about his disappearance. March 11th, 2024, the Metro Nashville Police Department announced on X that they continue to search for Strain and are requesting help from the public. Police searched hospitals and jails without success. Strain had previously been on the same trip without any trouble, according to Whited, and would frequently communicate with his family three or four times each day. March 12th of 2024, Strain's family assisted officials in a search along the Cumberland River, which was less than half a mile from where his phone last reached. However, nothing was discovered. Benton McDonough, director of the mayor's office of nightlife issued a statement asking tourists to be aware of their surroundings and to know your limits when it comes to alcohol intake. 
March 13th of 2024, the Metro Nashville Police Department publishes security video of Strain crossing 1st Avenue North to Gay Street. This is the 22-year-old's last appearance on video. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission has announced that it has launched an inquiry into the situation. Nashville's Office of Emergency Management units investigated the Riverside area with sonar equipment but found nothing. Family and friends held a vigil to pray for strain safe return. March 14th of 2024, the MNPD's urban search and rescue team continued to search the area around strain's last known location near the Cumberland River. During a press conference, police stated that they were also speaking with residents of adjacent homeless people. At the time, officers stated that there was no evidence of foul play or that Strain was engaged in any form of dispute or disagreement. There are no signs of foul play at this time. The police were still seeking to collect all of Strain's phone records. However, they also stated that there is no proof of him taking a cab or utilizing a ride sharing service. March 15th of 2024, the TC restaurant group issued another statement revealing further information on the inquiry and what occurred the night Strain was escorted out of Brian's bar. To assist the Nashville Metro Police Department's missing persons investigation of Riley Strain, we instantly submitted complete information information following his visit to our bar on March 8th. This information included all security camera videos and images of Riley at our location with timestamps, transaction data, and employee accounts. In addition, we proactively spoke with the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission and will continue to cooperate and provide whatever information is required to assist in the current investigation. Riley visited Luke's 32 Bridge and purchased one alcohol drink and two drinks of water according to our data. At 9.35 p.m., our security team decided to escort him out of the venue a Broadway exit at the front of our building based on our conduct requirements. He was followed down the stairs again by another member of his party. The guy with Riley did not leave and returned upstairs. We continue to pray for the Riley's friends and family during this difficult time as well for his safe return. TC Restaurant Group, March 16th of 2024. Strain's father, Ryan Gilbert, stated that the family had discovered that Strain's Apple Watch location services were never activated, destroying a lead that they had hoped would lead to answers. We're eager to get over this. We want some answers, Gilbert stated. We're a weekend and it's not getting any easier. Time appears to be running out and we would like to implore anyone with information to please share it. The Nashville's Office of Emergency Management confirmed that the use of drones, canines, boats, and divers while searching the Cumberland River on Saturday, but Strain's family believed he was not in the water. March 17th of 2024, Riley Strain's bank car was recovered near the river, which a lot of people thought was very suspicious. Billboards were also utilized around Nashville to seek information about Strain's whereabouts. March 18th of 2024, new body cam footage showing a brief exchange between Strain and a Nashville officer noted above on the night of his disappearance is released. The new body cam footage comes from Officer Reinald Young, who was responding to a vehicle burglary call. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. In the video, Strain does not seem distressed or visibly intoxicated. However, surveillance video from just minutes earlier showed him stumbling and unable to keep his head straight, and he also bashed his head on what appeared to be a sign. March 22nd of 2024, a search that involved dozens of officers and volunteers ended on Friday morning of March 22nd. The medical examiner's office reviewed and confirmed that the body was that of strain, a shirt, and a watch, and other identifying factors helped police make the identification. Drake said an autopsy was pending, and Strain's family had been contacted. During this time of making this video, I do want to let you know that the autopsy came out, and he had no water in his lungs whatsoever. And there's a lot of talk about it being a dry drowning, but it hasn't been confirmed yet, ladies and gentlemen. So I did want to cover that basis why I was recording this video. The body was recovered from the river about eight miles from downtown, police said. Police had already planned to search the area where the body was found Friday morning. The investigative officer, Drake, said, So, we were in the right spot. It's just unfortunate, the chief added. Metro 
Nashville police said its investigators did not observe foul play related trauma. Drake said there is no other evidence that suggests anything other than strain fell into the river accidentally. The aftermath, after discovering Riley's body, his family extended gratitude to the Nashville community for their help in finding him during a press gathering. His family wore green on Friday evening as they filled a small room at Metro Nashville Police Headquarters. Riley Strain believed people looked good in green and it was his favorite color. Strain's mother, Michelle Whited, his father, Ryan Gilbert, and his stepfather, Chris Whited, stated, I wanted to first thank MMPD for their efforts, Gilbert said. They've had a lot of sleepless nights. I can't give them enough thanks. I want to first thank the uh, NMPD for their efforts. They've had a lot of sleepless nights on this case as well. Uh, can't give them enough thanks. Uh, really appreciate the work they've done. Gilbert thanked volunteers who put up flyers, made phone calls, and collected donations for the searchers. He thanked his friends and family back home in Missouri for supporting them from afar. The Ward family for all their work. Uh, they put up a ton of flyers around town. They've been making phone calls. They've been assisting us in any way they can. All the people back home in our own personal lives that have been there to support us and our family at home as well. Uh, thank you for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. Chris White has stepped into the microphone inside. It's been an emotional roller coaster, he said. To the people of Nashville, I can't thank you enough for the support, the love, and the encouragement that you've shown. It's been an emotional roller coaster. We're quite thankful for everything that you've done for our family. The grace that you've given us, it means a lot more than you'll ever know. Michelle White had fought back tears given and only when she spoke. I ask that you mamas out there hug your babies tight tonight, please, she said. Please, for me, hug your babies tight tonight. I just ask that you mamas out there hug your babies tight tonight, please. Please, for me, just hug your babies tight tonight. And again, thank you. Thank you for sharing our story. Aaron Rummage, the Commission Director of Legislation, Policy, and Communication, said in the statement, however, state law prohibits serving alcoholic beverages to someone who is visibly intoxicated. Thank you for watching this tribute to a young life lost too soon. In closing with this case, I would like to advise all youngsters to watch the amount of alcohol that you take as it can result in fatal outcomes. Studies have shown that drinking not only impairs judgment, but also increases the risk of accidents and tragedies when it gets out of hand. Stay tuned for more intriguing cases and mysteries on my channel. Make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell to never miss a clue. And also, Rev Gang family, love, light, and lock your doors. Until next time.